at YouTube, so I'm going to stay home, stop to watch the Rochester Red Wings on plate night because everything is a garbage plate. And I'll try to explain that when there's less noise. I'm going back to eating and baseball. Morning YouTube. Well, uh, while I'm uh, off the road for a couple of weeks with the family, I'm still going to be doing some stuff on the bus. And uh, today, I'm adding a backup camera. Um, not so much about me backing into places, although that'll come in handy, uh, so I don't back right up into a tree anymore. Uh, well, just the leaves. I haven't backed up into a trunk yet. Um, but people tailgate me. I'll look in my mirror and I'll see a, their mirror pulling out. I don't know how close they are. And I'd like to keep an eye on these idiots. Because really. Uh, so anyway, I bought this uh, from Amazon. And uh, it's a little 7 inch job. With uh, Came with this camera. And uh, a couple of uh, remotes. So it's wireless. And the... Uh, what they say to do is wire it into the backup system so that it comes on when, uh, whenever I put it in reverse. Which, for a car, would make sense. Because I'm using it as an uh, actual rear view mirror, I'm going to wire it into the uh, running lights, which, whenever I turn the bus on, they come on. So, um, I can turn the power off on the screen, so the camera is the only thing that's that's being powered, but um, we'll see how that goes. If it's, if uh, I don't really need it, I'll probably turn it off. So uh, let me take you up front. I'll show you where I'm going to mount this. All right, so um, it, I can, although this is getting mounted upside down, uh, there is a way to flip the screen back and forth. This will handle two cameras, and I've only got the one, but I'm thinking of mounting it right up here. If I just tuck it in there to get an idea, um, it's not going to be in the way of me driving, looking down the road. Okay, it's not in the way of me looking down the road. Uh, not really in the way of the fan. If I move it over here, it's a little bit more. Um, I could put it here, but I sort of want it in front of me when I'm looking at the mirrors. Um, so, the other possibility, of course, was to mount it back in here, but that's sort of back in behind stuff, the fans in the way, um, and all of that sort of blocks my view when I am um, turning left. The, the fan, if I turn it this way, sort of blocks the view. I don't really want more over there. But in the center, uh, that should be okay. And what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll drill up through, run this wire up, and I can hold all, all the... Uh, the remote and everything back hidden back in behind there or up back up in here maybe i'll put it up here so it, it'll go that way um so that's how i'm going to mount it up here in the front for the actual monitor let's go in the back and i'll show you what i'm gonna do back okay so back here when i put up uh this back piece i made it so that i could get in there if i had to um but these are the the three center running lights that I've replaced with LEDs and I'm going to cut into one of these lines and mount the camera right out here on the back um, somewhere in this area. So because of the contours and stuff out there I'm going to go out and mount it uh, from the outside I'm going to drill a hole and uh, that way I can uh, have it in the right spot, and then we'll do all the wiring inside. Okay, so this is the camera. This is the uh, the transmitter for the wireless. It just gets wired in easy enough. Um, 
but there's no way I want to cut any of these wires to get it through so um, all this is going to be inside so I need to drill a half inch hole just to get these in through um, that's so just the way it goes one of them brings the video signal out one of them brings the power so I'm going to go out there and drill a small pilot hole and then I'll drill the, uh, the half inch hole through and then we'll feed this inside um, after, and I'll, uh, after I attach the, uh, the bracket to the side of the, or to the back of the bus. Okay, so I'm going to mount it up there uh, right above or right below that uh, center light. Okay, so up front here I'm doing a little different. This one's got uh, red for power, black for ground, and this blue one would be in, would be hooked into the reverse circuit, which would turn that, that on. Uh, by not putting this in, um, I can just power the thing up, um, and it should work. This one I only got to drill a smaller hole, but uh, in this instance I am not going to tie into the uh, lights because of the way I put this bulkhead up in and this is in the way it'd be I could cut a hole access hole uh, but I'm not going to do that at this point I may some point in the future but what I'm going to do is tie into the uh, few stuff like I did with this fan I can run wire down inside here and all the way down through down in underneath here is the uh, all the electrical stuff. So I can hook it in there and uh, I'll run a uh, just a, a, a power line up there and for ground I can just bring it down here but the uh, thing I have to also keep in mind is uh, in a future video I'm putting this CB in and I'm going to mount that right here so uh, that's going to be tied into the same circuit which is the other reason to uh, have a dig. Okay, so I know, well, this is where I have my horn hooked into. This bar right here is uh, only powered when uh, the key's turned on. So, if I hook into anywhere in here, like I said these are my horns, all three horns. Um, so, and the thing is, this doesn't really tell me a whole lot. Here's the power coming in. Here's the power I need to the red line for this and the red line for the uh, CB. And I am going to cut this CB one off because I don't need the other two feet. But I'll use part of this. All right, so. I got this hooked up and I can put a second camera on if I want. Um, 
this is only going to come on when the when it's running because if I just got it energized uh, the lights don't come on but uh, I've got to go adjust the camera I got to set something down here so I can see where it is that's a little far back see I could well that's yeah that's the proper view the other one was upside down so anyway uh, I can actually supposedly Okay, I've got the uh, uh, backup camera monitor hooked up right here, so it's, it's doesn't impede my view. I've got the CB over here. Uh, so in this picture, those posts are about 12 feet back. So, and I'm looking down this ladder that's over here in the picture. I don't know if you can see it, but that ladder. The bottom's about three feet back. So I'll be able to see 15, 20 feet behind me when I'm backing up. Obviously it gets in that red zone, I'm close enough. So it gets to this, those two little lines, then I'm fine. Uh, CB wise, I got it on channel 19, squelch, but uh, Talking to my son, the trucker, he said that not a lot of the truckers use it anymore. I mean, back in the 70s, everybody used it. So, um, uh, it's still there if I need it, and uh, some may may use it. So, we shall see what we shall see. All right, so I'll see you later, YouTube. And um, I've got another project I'm doing while I'm uh, hanging out with family. And uh, we'll see that in the next video. See you later, YouTube.